Hello guys, Pepper Dirt here again. I am going to show you how to pass arguments into a into a script or program, what have you. Super simple. Uh, this will build on a build on what we have learned. It'll allow you to really control how it'll really allow you to control how your program interacts with the user how to interface with the user uh, an example would probably be a little good here you know I'm actually gonna keep this somewhat short today kinda cool Let's see matrix a short script that I made before I got here probably took me about an hour maybe more I <laughs> uh, really shouldn't have taken that long pretty simple okay so this is how the interface looks you type in your script name matrix and it'll tell you how to use it switches number of lines for uh, that you want displayed binary integer hex example use always nice so let's try it out matrix let's do 20 lines integer and just like so well, that goes pretty quick. Yeah, nothing special there. Just echoes out lines. Uh, let's go into how you pick up these uh, these arguments here. So let's make a file real quick. Echo mm, test dot bat notepad test dot bat. All right. You guys know this line. Echo off. Now, how you pass the permit parameter to your test.bat is by, you don't even have to put the extension. Just, the next argument is your first argument, next one, second argument. And you can pass up to nine to it. And how you pick these up, they're interpreted as a percent one, percent two, percent three all the way up to percent nine you can have nine perimeters passed to your program usually that's pretty excessive the most I've had is uh, I guess five and that, that was you know yeah I'm not gonna get that so let, let's show you how that these work I'll show you that these actually work we're just going to echo them out uh, just for a quick example. So, test. Hello, world. And check it out. Percent one, percent two, three is blank. It's expanded to nothing. And so on. And usually, like I said, how you were going to let the user interface with your program as you would put in a conditional if you know percent one equals hello then echo you said hello hello so let's try that again test and check out you said hello now if it well let's just t change what we put in help help world that's a little different and notice our little message did not display because you didn't say hello now that's exactly how you pass perimeters and exactly how any program you know a real program would pick up your your input and val validate probably and use. I'm going to show you how this was useful in a small program I made. Not only was it useful in the matrix, but you know, you're going to use this a lot if you actually start scripting, you know, for fun or just to see what you can do. Uh, it can be a lot of fun if you like 
you know, programming, scripting, but. So, WordNet. Uh, let me not do that. WordNet. Now, WordNet is a dictionary that you can get online. It's an offline dictionary. And I just happened to name my batch file WordNet so that I... Well, that's just what you name it. You can name a batch file whatever you want. I just say WordNet is my dictionary, so WordNet. And then my next argument is my switch my custom switch dash f uh, it could be dash d for define dash whatever I said f you know just for fast I, I guess that's what I was going for and then uh, any word put on the spot ho okay hobo uh, bum and it defines it just like that now let's see and check it out every time it runs it clears the screen uh, before it runs now let me show you our script um, well first off notice let me show you what is in this directory uh, notice two binary is not in here but two binary can be used from here uh, let me explain. Two binaries, a script I made. It's uh, pretty advanced stuff. I can't go with through it right now. And besides, it wow, that'll definitely be one of the last things I uh, explain for this scripting tutorial. Uh, two binary, let's say OX23. Yeah, let's do a bigger number just so you're more impressed. Uh, that don't work. That don't either. And this is the integer. Uh, let's go back to that smaller number. Integer representation of x23 is 35. And the binary, that's the 3, 2, 3, and, uh, you know, 16, 32. Yeah. If you don't know hex, I'm, I'm not going to go into that. Base 16, base, no, I'm sorry, base 16, hex, base 1, uh, binary, base 10, our regular 1, 2, 3s. Uh, notice, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this script is actually located in C Windows System 32. Uh, to binary and there it is any script or uh, executable can be executed from the system 32 directory uh, as you can see I've been making a lot of scripts uh, these are just the ones I use some more than others or less <laughs> and uh, what can I say? This is Windows command. This is Windows execution path. Anything in here can be run wherever you are in the command line. Pretty useful to know. Windows System 32. There's other There's other executable paths, but uh, I'm not. I'm not going to go over those. So let's go into that WordNet script. Notepad. Windows. Uh, I'm sorry. Word net. And check it out. Super easy. I hardly had to do any work. I actually set a parameter for this uh, tutorial, actually. So now every time I run WordNet, the variable name WordNet cd is accessible to me because uh, WordNet now equals the command path or the directory where WordNet resides. Um, 
just another way you can interface with the user. Uh, same as two binary, I believe. No? Okay, how about... Wow. I don't know what integers I left for myself. Uh, hex binary. Ah, see? And that's our binary that we just had. And I actually... Uh, if you need more explanation on that. <laughs> I set a variable and we can use it outside of the program. Pretty cool. So we're in WordNet and we want to look at the executables. So DIR, wildcard, exes. And we, there are two. WordNet.wnb which is the UI interface. It brings up exactly the same as we would had we typed in the command line. And we want to use the other one. Usually you would be able to do a qu dash question mark, but sometimes you just run them without any command line, any parameters. It'll just give you a straight help file, the help. Ah, uh, pretty nice. You can go through pretty much you can test this out on your own computers, you know, find any program that you say, hey, you know, I, I want to learn how to inter I want to learn how to interface use the command line interface of any given program. Uh really there's not tons of useful applications to that uh scripting uh anytime you're doing large quantities of work, repetitious work. Uh, obviously, you'd want to use a script so that you wouldn't be doing the work. Uh, let's just go into the script here. My custom script says dash "-f", and you have to play with any executable that you get. Because it, it's... They're usually going to be about the same, but you got to learn how to use the the executable as well. Like, I really haven't played with WordNet's, uh, you know, synonyms, uh, all, cat. I haven't played with any of this. All I know is dash over is the overview. Uh, no. And sometimes you got to use them a little different. Uh, WordNet wants you to put the word you define, and then the switches last and there it goes notice this is way too much to read in ones well we don't have enough screen so you would pipe it to more and it pauses and we can read the rest as we want now that's exactly what my program does dash f finds the directory the executable and then passes arguments from the script percent two is actually what is percent two? Oh yeah percent one is our switch percent two is actually the word I want to find and then overview more so it works well pretty straightforward uh, I've actually got got it set up so that I can use more switches if I wanted to um, but again I'd have to learn how to use WordNet and I don't I don't see really a reason but even so I put it in here in case I ever wanted to overview is pretty much all I've ever needed uh, it's kinda cool to have an offline dictionary on your computer I know Microsoft Word's got one but you know you can't use theirs well I guess you probably could maybe from the command line but you can with WordNet so basically I use it you know whenever I need a word to find uh, yeah I'm sure you got internet <laughs> but pretty cool this is how you learn this is how you use command line interfaces uh, I guess that's about it how about uh, bah, bah, bah. 
I guess if you guys would leave any comments, suggestions for next video, that'd be cool. Um, if you want to rate, subscribe, comment. I, I like comments. <laughs> then, you know, throw my way. Um, this has been another episode of Pepper Dirt's DOS Scripting. Thank you for watching. God bless.